Good day to you, Reen Schwarzer. Ha <laughs> ha! Why wouldn't I be? I'm as much a guest on this ship as you are. And who would deny themselves the pleasure of a ship so beautiful? The furnishings are immaculate. The food and wine are positively sumptuous. And I am of the firm belief that it's wasteful not to take advantage of the opportunities life presents you. Ah, and speaking of opportunities, don't just stand there. Take a seat and join me in having a drink. You've been blessed with the rare chance to sit and chat one-on-one -on -one with the most beloved thief of our time. Indeed, there are few even among royals whose palate is so refined as his. Between our shared love of beauty and fundamental difference of opinion on the nature of love, he forever remains an endless source of entertainment for me. That magnificent floating city was quite the sight to behold, let me tell you. Oh, how I wish I could have shown it to you. It would have changed your view of the world completely. Ha <laughs> ha! A thief of my caliber can steal much more than objects read. <laughs> there, I was able to steal much of your time and your interest. Perhaps I stole your heart as well. I imagined Duke Cayenne would welcome a man like the Prince with open arms into the Alliance, if he so wished to join. To my knowledge, he was always wary of the Chancellor himself. But I digress. I'm afraid not even I know where he is at the moment. However, I'm inclined to believe that wherever he's hiding, the Crimson Wings is there with him. But think, these kinds of things are simply what the great nobles of this country have always done. The War of the Lions, too, was brought about by numerous families of some standing, backing potential successors to the throne. Emperor Dreykels, as a late arrival to the war, was a mere exception to the rule. <laughs> I wonder, does Prince Oliver think himself as the second coming of Dreykels? One of which is to bring the winds of change to Thor's military academy. A gust of fresh air, if you will. I'll admit, I hesitated to allow it, but I decided to place my hopes in you. We believed then, as we still do, that one day, you all will be a great light that can push back the darkness of this country. Oh, do tell. Ha ha! I'm pleased to hear it. I will be waiting at the edge of my seat to hear which path you choose. Join us, and you'll be warmly welcomed. Naturally, I'm fascinated by you as the Ashen Knight's pilot. But I'm even more fascinated with that brute strength of yours. I would love the chance to see the power of an ogre up close.
Hmm, we got a visitor? Come on in. Figured it was you. What's up? Have a seat. Bourbon? I suppose not. <laughs> Why wouldn't we be? It's not like we're on a battlefield right now. We're Jaegers. Nothing unusual about us trying to cut some throats one day than sitting in a bar with the same guys the next. Of course. If you would rather fight with us, that can be arranged. Hey, now, no need to be so pessimistic. He seems to think pretty highly of you. Have a little more faith in yourself. At the very least, you'd be able to give us a real fight in your divine night. Not that I'd have any intention of losing even then. Oh yeah? Ranking 72nd for the year in an academy full of big shot students ain't half bad. <sighs> Brings a tear to my eye to see our little Fee putting her heart into her education. And don't forget, she was the youngest of her classmates too. The boss was right when he said that she can do anything she puts her mind to. You got that right. Maybe joining the gardening club will make her a bit more ladylike too. Oh, who am I kidding? She's still young. She has plenty of time to develop on that front if she so pleases. Oh, Fee told you about that. It sounds like you're closer to her than I thought you were. I trust this is simply me being paranoid. But you haven't tried making any moves on her, have you? Well... Hmm... We had our reasons. Let's leave it at that. I know you want to know, but you're not the one we should be telling that to. We'll be sure to tell Fee our reasons in due time. Until then, leave the issue be. <laughs> Fighting words right there. But still, we'll remember you said that. Returning to the matter at hand, you're sure you haven't tried to make any moves on her? <laughs> Come on, spit it out! <laughs> oh, believe me, I am enjoying all of this. Not just this. Travel to and from Crossbell like this is utterly exhausting. No, I mustn't complain. I'm doing this for the sake of my lord. Who goes there? Wait, you're the Ashen Knight's pilot. Have you no 
about shame? Is it perhaps normal for you to barge into a lady's room unannounced? You and that Arsade are only as bad as each other, I swear! Learn your place! Understood? What do you want? Have you come to tell me that you'll be fighting on our side after all? Oh, naturally. Lady Clotilde seems to have a purpose of her own. But for my part, I have no obligation to help the Alliance whatsoever. I'm simply cooperating because I was told doing so was necessary to the plan. No. She may be an anguish like her, but my lord is the seventh, not the second. She is the leader of the Stallridder, the great light which guides us. Gallant yet beautiful, proud yet merciful. She's the strongest knight of all, and oh, she's simply divine. She certainly is. And if you must know, a hundred swordsmen of your strength couldn't hope to equal her. No, a thousand, even ten thousand of you wouldn't be able to so much as scratch her. <laughs> I see I've got you thinking. Incidentally, I may have already mentioned her title, but one can never share my lord's glory too many times. She's known as the Steel Maiden. And with that, I believe that's enough idle chatter. If you didn't come to tell me that you'll be fighting on our side, then we remain enemies. As such, we shouldn't be standing here being friendly with one another. Enforcers are selected by the society's leader, the Grand Master. And in order to be selected as one and given a number, that person needs to be burdened by some kind of darkness. But just so we're clear, there is no correlation between having a number and one's strength, alright? I'm quite strong! Dribble in my presence. Now get the hell out of my room.
Situation assessed. Location is a room inside the guest area of the Pentagruel. Nine hours have passed since initial loss of consciousness. Huh? Reen Schwarzer? Why are you here? Unless my memories have been tampered with, I believe this room was solely allocated to me. So you're an intruder then. Clown Soleus! <laughs> no mercy for trespassers. So you claim to have no inappropriate motives for sneaking into this room. But once you walked in, you fell victim to temptation and chose to act in accordance to your desires. I was making a joke. Had you any intention of harming me, Clown Soleus would have attacked you. That he didn't proves your innocence. <laughs> if that's what you want to do, you didn't come to ask me anything then? to your first question is, I was ordered to do so. As all information regarding Clown Soleus is confidential, I am unable to answer your second question. And as for the last one, I am unable to fully comprehend the depth of your question. The Black Workshop. That's the name of the place I belong to. It was they who loaned me to the Noble Alliance. Unless you choose to join the Alliance, that is the most I'm able to disclose to you. I can't see doing so holding any real purpose for you. Incidentally, did you have any untoward motives behind what you just did? You. Forgot you were staying here too. So what's up? I couldn't give a damn whether you join the Alliance or not, to be honest. Hmm. 
Interesting. You mixed by any chance? So, what do you want to ask? Oh, that? Don't know if I can even explain that one. It's just something you feel. What we've got mixed into us is obviously different in strength and nature. It's kind of hard to put into words. Just watch. There's no trick to it. I'm not using an orb mint, it's not magic. And I'm not using an artifact either. I just will fire to appear, and it does. Yeah, I guess you could say that. Something that just gives you results without the processes you'd usually have to go through to obtain them. You've got one too, right? It's the same kind of thing. People who can do things like that usually have something mixed into them. Something foreign, unnatural, mixed into their body itself. Different to the church's stigmas. Looks like a pretty small part of it in your case, though. There, huh? Anyway, I couldn't tell you how, where, or why whatever it is got mixed into you. Sure, you've got more questions, but sorry. I can't answer them. <laughs> Good for you, I guess. So, we done now? Me? All 